Okay, Rafi, darling. No, no, that is perfectly fine. Lurk away, dear. I understand. You have standards. I am now beneath them. I get it. I have standards, too. And Amazon has failed me super fucking hard. God damn, I just had to sprint down the stairs. Okay, I've had the device properties up for my fucking microphone this entire time. And... <sighs> Fuck. Like, I, I just watched it when I went live go to 15%. I don't know why. Windows wants my microphone to suck. But I am too tired for this bullshit. Way too tired. No, seriously, you'll be there in a few. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Darling, take your time. It's fine. You have people. You have people. Uh, you two have standards which you ignore and then install Valorant when another friend wants you to like it. Yes, friends don't let friends uh, install Valorant. That's just, it's not cool. It's not cool, man. Do we need to stage an intervention? Sorry I'm breathing heavily. I've been waiting for a couple of expensive packages from Amazon um, and the glue I could have used yesterday uh, to show up. And they showed up just a moment ago to the side of my house on the goddamn ground. And it just... I had to sprint down the stairs. I had to sprint the length of the house, then down the stairs, then the length of the house again, then down the front steps to the side yard where they were sitting in the dirt right by the rain spout, so if it had been raining, it would have been a problem, but thankfully it was not. Grab them, they were heavy, and they were on the ground, so my back hurts now. And then sprint back upstairs, across the house, upstairs, and across the house. I'm... all done in about three minutes flat. Because I did that when I went, like, I went live and immediately saw the update. Because that is exactly how my timing goes. That is how my life goes. How was your delivery? Oh, I have some opinions about my delivery, Amazon, but, uh... They don't pay attention. Ooh. Yeah, Valorant's not bad. I mean, the, the people are pretty shitty, the players, but... It is basically just... CSGO with some mild Overwatch. Anyway, salutations, darlings. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And fewer hackers, yes. I said darlings. Thank you. It is another Monday night, and I do not have to come up with anything last second to keep artist friends from murdering me, so we're going to be cracking a planet again. My intent is to completely clear this game, by cracking every planet and then going to the station. The the mysterious floating object. And I lost my train of thought because I'm tired now and my knee hurts. And my back hurts. So I had to sprint. Uh yes, cat. Are you upset that you've not been fed? You were fed this morning and you wolfed it down. That's on you, darling. Anyway, for those of you who were there yesterday, again, thank you, thank you. That was probably my best stream, my favorite stream. It's nice and chill. Important things happened. Good conversations about serious topics and not so serious topics, which is the best kind of topic is the not serious ones. Camera, stop being a dick. You. 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 Camera. Stop it. Okay. 
<laughs> Today I thought it was some fever dream. It was an odd one. It was an unusual stream and seven hours long at that, which was... I didn't even think I could do seven hours. I remember I started doing two hour streams and being all like, well, I don't know where I am. I'm exhausted. Confused. Camera is not tracking me. You bastard. Okay. By the way, uh, anybody who was looking at the Logitech uh, streamer cam designed for streamers, um, don't. It's $120 and is worth maybe $50. It, it, it sucks. I'm probably going to get something more functional at half the price and then just hang this over my cat's box, his favorite box, so that we could have a cat cam. Because this thing is disappointing. Sucks bad, darling. <sighs> now, today was another one of those Mondays like I've had pretty much this entire year where I just woke up feeling like I was on the wrong side of life and ended up calling out of work. At this point, I don't even expect them... I don't even think they expect me to be in on Monday. But on Mondays, half of the, most of the time Tuesdays either. Again, thankfully, I have that kind of flexibility with where I work, but it's still... It's frustrating because it costs me money, it puts extra work on my team. It's not something I like doing to people. But... Oh, jeez, I did not post my go-lives. One moment. Silly me. Have another one? I did have another one. There we go. Go lives have gone live. Okay. But still, I did end up playing, uh, well, actually, pretty much all I did today was, uh, I was like, I had tunnel vision there. Oh my god, I got him. I'm surprised the guys over there didn't notice. Or maybe they did. That's when Kel's quick scoped a guy. But I basically just spent the entire day um, playing House Flipper, which will probably replace be replacing Astroneer for content. I'm not gonna I'm gonna be honest. I was gonna do it for uh House Flipper VR, but then my VR setup decided to be a shit and humiliate me on stream, so I'm not touching VR for streaming for a bit. <laughs> Hello Cider Darling, hello, welcome in. And yes, yes indeed Lurk. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's go ahead and switch on over to gaming. I don't have brain cells to talk, really, much less anything to talk about. Because we just spoke yesterday, so. Come on. Astroneer. There we are. Here on your phone to communicate, Twitch died on your PC. So that's an early leave, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that. I am sorry about that, but that's understandable. Computers can be butts. So we were going to forget all of the buttons. We need to go and find ourselves a nice other entry point to the core. There it is. That's the button I was looking for. Just cut a path straight to it. Or at least pointing in the right direction. Makes moving so much slower. It does feel good to be back into Astroneer because 
stepped away from it right when we had plans moving forward. Hmm. So it's good to be back in back in space. Alter Darling, welcome in, welcome in. How is your Monday in a strange and foreign land? No longer under the direct influence of sheep. Yep, those are dick plants. They can fuck off. Never trust a plant. Never trust a plant. <sighs> this is a regular planet, if memory serves, so there's going to be six of these stations in total. We landed near and broke one already, so we need to break this one and four more, then go hit up the core. You're off your leash. Yes, indeed. Wild and free. Do I have... I do not have the terrain generator. So let's hope that the ground... Okay, it does look like there's something there. So let's get stuck on a plant. Spin this puppy around. Can I get up there? Yes. Good. Oh, but now the tractor. The trailer is stuck. Come on, trailer. There we go. Go backwards, damn it. There we go. Should be the power you need. No, that's not enough power. Are you sure? Oh, that's right. I boxed up an RTG. No. I'm real certain I only needed eight. Eight units of power. Hmm. Now let's pull you around to this one here, and then what I can do is drop that off the front, grab the RTG box, stall it, unpack. There we go, now we got the power. And then get ready to just shrink wrap that baby. These thang moats. Pack that up. Grab it. And then... 
just hook back up. And I'll go back to base and grab another packager, unless I can build them. I cannot, because I need graphite. Wow, air goes down while you're stuck in the loading scene. Good to know. I have sorely missed just dicking around in space, falling into holes simulator. That being said, I cannot wait to break out House Flipper on stream. House Flipper is so fun. Graphite. Make package mo package of Motron. That's right, I've got a decent amount over here. There we go. Drop that there. And pull some more graphite. Nope, that's the long way. Because that is, that is the way I just went. I need to go back to the station instead. Uh, the one that's already open. Or I should say the one I opened last time. I don't know how those horrible Cronenberg trees are not evil plants. I mean, seriously, th those trees are just awful. They they look like they're absolutely supposed to be killing you, but they are are passive. They're they're the happy trees here. That's I hate this planet. It's Arizona, but worse somehow. Okay, looks like the next place is that way. Now what I do love about this game, probably most of all, and it's not really by any means needed at this rate, but the fact that the world itself is just so freaking huge. Each planet is big. The moons are pretty decent sized, honestly. And then they're multi-layered with all of the caves in them. The mountains are underwhelming, I will say that. But... Like, there's just so much to find and research and look at and explode and steal and dig. That... You could spend a huge amount of time, just a grotesque amount of time, playing... Of course I say, you know, mountains are unimpressive and I'm being routed around a freaking plateau. But, uh, you can spend so much time just on one world, which, you know, you probably will spend that much time just on Silva. Dude, and there's things like this that you just don't expect to see at all. See if there's anything cool. Nice tactical barrel roll on out of there. I think that's copper. Malachite. Pre copper. Oh, explosives. Alright. And a bar of aluminum. aluminum. Ah. Yes. That is probably the worst thing is that the game does not let the, the camera 
gracefully move around. You'll just be like, alright, well, you will be now be clipping through this side of this mountain or into this, you know, broken ship here. That's okay, you don't need to see where you're going, right? I mean, largely you don't. But still. Like, Silva itself is not even the largest planet in the game, to my knowledge. But it is such a huge expanse. I mean, I've found... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, there's a huge chasm. Let's not go in there. But I've, I've unlocked literally every pattern. I've bought everything. I have no use for research gear now. So I have no use for, for cracking those uh, delicious science triangles out in the middle of nowhere. Because there's just, there's... No, not you. I'm... I think I actually specifically bought all the patterns, even the ones I didn't want to use at all. Like, I'm not going to be doing automated stuff. I'm not making any auto factories, but... I haven't seen so far much need for the more powerful drill heads. By and large, I know they're going to be useful because they wouldn't be in the game if they weren't there, if they weren't useful, but. Yeah, 40,000 research bites left, uh, left unused and unable to be used, really. Because I think the only thing, yeah, VTOL, which is a mission reward. Which I think you can get by... I think you get that by going to the station, which you can do as soon as you've cracked a planet. Doesn't have to be cracking all of them. But the station is also a central link to all the planets, so it's super handy to have that opened. Because then, unless you're hauling cargo, unless you're pulling some elite dangerous stuff, you don't actually need to go to the effort of using shuttles to transport stuff. Or shuttles to go planet to planet. You can instantaneously transmit yourself with a backpack load of materials you need on one planet to another planet, set up some things going on there, pop back in, And unless it's something that needs need you need something that is uh, packed, size medium or larger, Ooh, right out the side. You just you don't need to. Or I think packed size larger, larger. I think mediums actually store on your backpack. But you don't need to you don't need to use shuttles, which is great. And park. Come on. Get you around to this one here. That's not what I want. I wanted to untether. That's what I wanted. I do like how some of these are very heavily buried, especially on the older planets. 
around the planets instead of the moons. Because it shows that these have been sitting around for some freaking time. Come on. Stop. Why did it move like that? Stop that. Hello, Koihimi, my darling. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I said darling. Thank you. The robot's being a little unruly. By that I mean the, the counter, not... Alter. Alter's pretty chill. He's probably busy. Uh, just cracking planets. Cracking planets. <sighs> I'm a little annoyed. I bought a new office chair, a new chair for my computer area, and it's very comfortable. And it doesn't feel like it's got any flims to it, necessarily, but it does have this problem of um, the piston wanting to just reset itself. Like, it, it, when I come back to it after a while, it's raised back up to maximum height. So, and that's just high enough that I kind of have to, like, get up on my tippy toes to sit down on it to then hit the lever. It's a uh, kind of... A, Kind of irritating, not terrible, but like it's it's still one of those why do I have to things. And it does unfortunately not bode well for uh, its durability long term if it's going to be doing that fuckery. Work and. Where's the next one? That way. Actually, I don't need to go back to base yet. I technically don't need to go back until I need the uh, unpacker or the uh, packager again. Space Arizona is probably my least favorite planet. Next to, next to Artax, choking atmosphere, grenade launcher, planet, or rocket launcher, plant, planet. Like, immediately getting pasted by a, like, step outside of the shuttle, and then bam, rocket launchers at you. That was some bullshit. But Space Arizona is just bleak. It's got some really dickish plants. Okay, well let's see how this half works. Uh, let's aim up as high as I can and hope I'm not just drilling into a cave. Not only drilling into a cave, but one that the drill can't go through. Cool. Fantastic. All right. Oh, it's a little pocket, so it's not that bad. Might be enough to get the heck out of this, or at least turn my trailers around. There we go. Get the trailers going, and whipping around. Ha ha! Fuck you, holes. You won't best me this time. Whoa. 
almost right into that hole. That would have been fun. That would have been great. You won't best me this time, holes, and then just immediately into another hole. That would, I mean, that that's pretty on brand. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really not gonna lie. <sighs> so I'm a little conflicted right now. Tundra Tracker is releasing their first wave of trackers to be purchased by people who did not get on the Kickstarter or the Slacker back uh, on the 10th. And it's gonna, they say they're going to take about, they're gonna try their hardest to get everything to people within six weeks. Which is to say, they don't know, and uh, they're promising nothing, but they hope, upon hope, that they will be able to get the retail kits out to people then. They've also had to raise the price due to component costs. So three trackers and a, uh, well, USB hub for them, basically. What they call a, a super dongle. Is like 360 bucks, which is still not bad for full body tracking. Or for uh, what would give me leg, leg and hip tracking, giving me what I need for basic full body. But with how popular it is, and how big Tundra knows the PC VR market is and the full body market is, even with the. Oh, for fuck's sake. Never trust a plant. Even a nice, gentle, horrible spider tree. The Geiger Forest can be deceiving. But it's like, it's not a bad price for full body, to get a full body setup going, and the Tundra Trackers track as well as, like, Val Vive Tracker 3, which is the current one you can get from Vive, but also have a longer battery life than even, and are smaller. Then, Vive Tracker 3s, which their big thing is it's so much better than our, our, our previous ones with battery life and tracking and size. But at the same time, odds are I am not going to actually get in on that first round. Like, it's not going to be... I will not be one of the lucky ones. I will get s I'll hit it slightly too late upon release and be stuck on a reserve list for round two or something like that. If they're even doing the reserve lists. And even then, it's six weeks from order, so at the best, I'm getting my stuff, uh, it's March, so like early May. More likely, I will be on one of the next rounds. And that's just, uh, that sucks. I want to wiggle on camera for you people. I could have made that less weird, but I didn't. I said what I said. The other option, though, is to go and just get Val... Uh, I keep saying Val... Vive trackers. But the Vive 3s are the only ones you can really get right now, and they are... It'd be a little over 400 for three of them, and I would need three open USB slots because they don't have a good dongle system, each one requires its own receiver. Or its own, uh, transmitter. And that's not fun, because that's a lot of... Oh, wow, I am... Anybody else noticing I am, like, low frame rate myself? The game looks like it's okay, but... I am choppy. Hmm. Fun. But, uh, kind of has me stuck on that. Like, do I spend the extra money to buy the thing I don't necessarily want but can get almost immediately? Or do I wait, take a chance, wait even longer to get the thing that I kind of want and I want more? but will not take forever in a day. This is wrong place. I 
And it's kind of, it's, it's got me stuck in a conundrum because I could afford either option. I, ah, pardon the yawnage. Don't want to spend that much. Don't want to spend either amount of money, really, but I could do it. I'm really just sort of waiting for Slime VR to come up, finally. But they're saying November. So that'll be... that'll be some time. Let's go ahead and slot in some explosives, drop the aluminum off. like the space board. Hoverboard is pretty cool. Like, it provides a great amount of mobility for scouting, where the scout cars, or the, uh, the buggies, the cars, are pretty decent. Like, they're definitely good for early game, obviously. But they leave you kind of stuck with terrain, and you gotta have a generator for them. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. They will run out of power. Uh, but generally, I think I think you get a QT RTG. Yeah, I think you get a QT when you make your first rover, your first buggy. This is the wrong place again, isn't it? Where's my space car? The, the tractor and trailer, well, the trailers are handy, but the tractor is, is definitely a limited usefulness device. It's rugged, it's dependable, it doesn't require its own cabin, but the main thing about it is it's cheap and it only takes a medium slot so you can just stick it onto a uh, any sort of storage device that you're hauling off to make a new base with, which is exactly what I did this time. The large buggy though, the or medium and large buggies are really cool because those have plenty of space but at the same time they're also very slow. Hoverboard is fast. Hoverboard is fast. It gives you some ability to clear terrain by just hitting a jump right. You just have no hauling capacity at all. It's still tech it's still you. In fact, technically you have one less hauling capacities. What is that thing? Wheeze weed. Choking plant. Right. Right. Screw that thing. Never trust a plant. I really kind of... I do want the VTOL, but... I I really kind of want to do this right and get the... Uh, get all the plants cracked and then go to the station, even though I get the VTOL. I'm fairly certain. Fuck you, plant. I'm pretty certain I get the VTOL by uh, going to the station, and you can you can do that just off of, like I said, just off of just doing one planet and then going to the state, flying to the station on a shuttle. It's, it feels appropriate to unlock everything first. Hello, free explosives. This game does love to give me explosives, and I'm not going to complain about that. I do like exploding. Very much so. Wait, what? No. Why you why you try to put text in chat? 
stupid, stupid machine. Camera, why you no know read eyes? You've never had a problem with glasses before. Maybe that's what I should spend money on. Picking up a second-hand iPhone camera, or iPhone for the camera, and, uh... Grabbing some better tracking software. VC Fay is fine, but it really hates glasses. Or it seems to hate my glasses. Granted, I hate my glasses. They're old. Oh. Oh, this is just the worst. And I don't trust that you're just cacti. I think you're just cacti. But I'm not trusting a goddamn plant. I have been burned in a very literal sense by plants too many times in this game to trust anything organic, including myself, as I have also run myself off of cliffs several times, which just shows I cannot be trusted with me. So, my BFF linked me earlier a, uh, pre-sale that one of my favorite minis companies... I try not to have favorites in anything, really, because it's just a losing bet when you start becoming a stan, but... I, I gotta admit, like, I really do like Reaper's... Reaper minis stuff. And their Bones minis are really high quality and really inexpensive been hitting some issues here and there with them, but they're not there. They're still really above the above quality expectations for minis in general, especially at that pri the price they charge. But they are doing a pre-order order, a uh, pre-order for a uh, mini that they're putting all proceeds towards uh, UNICEF based um let me get this stuck on here real quick. Based uh, humanitarian aid in the Ukraine. And I really like that. It's really nice of them. I mean, granted, it's still them making uh, a charitable donation, which becomes a tax write-off. So we're basically paying them to... Paying them to pay less taxes, but, I mean, fuck it. Any support we can get to the Ukraine. Any support we can get to the Ukraine. Now, if only Vallejo Paints will, uh, Vallejo Paints would back, uh, arms dealer sending, sending, uh, Javelins in there. That'd be pretty dope. And where's the next one behind us? Natch. Turn around. Nope. Nope. just such, with the exception of, you know, holes exploding yourself and plants that cannot be trusted, this is just such a remarkably chill, easygoing game, and I love it. 
I mean, then I flip my tractor, but whatever. You know what? Tractors are meant to be flipped. That's that's their design. That is that is their thing. Should have seen that coming, but you know what? Whatever. Mild bonk against rock is no big deal. Dig up! Dig up! I can tell you're digging down. Dig up, you bastard. Well, this is a new piece of structure. I have not seen anything like this before. This looks like some sort of immense solar cell. Hmm. Oh, and a free research item on it. I should have brought some beacons with me. But, I mean, then again, I don't need... Compass, come on. Don't really need the materials, or at least not the research materials. Ooh, there's another hole. Holy moly, that's a lot of holies. Come on. Around. Around. This is why I want to get that VTOL. Terrestrial navigation is kind of a pain. off the side. Get stuck on some chiclet plants. God, just getting anywhere here in Arizona is such a pain in the ass with how the how the geography is formed. It's just so frustrating to move. Constantly gotta be on the lookout for just straight up holes into caverns that go four or five layers deep, almost to the core itself. Get routed around mountains. Some jerk plant attacks you. It's all just a bit excessive. But we've got a remarkable amount of these things cleared already. Then we can plan our trip to the next planet. This is actually going quite a bit faster than I anticipated, not gonna lie. Probably a good thing considering I'm exhausted.
I'm really kind of looking forward to my art stream Thursday. I mean, it's going to be some more, like, cut and paste together stuff. I need to actually put my mouth on my reference sheet to show I have fang I have sharky teeth with some fangs. Because, you know, covering those up with magic is a pain. Teeth are, teeth are difficult. But I am really looking forward to it. Is that all of them? Hey, that's all of them. Cool. You know what? Let's not, uh... Worry too hard about leaving the drill here. Well, that was rather quick. That was, uh... Well, actually, that was an hour. Actually, yeah, let's let's go ahead and get a packager. I think that was where I needed to go to. <sighs> let's find out. Seems legit. Then we'll just drive the bus back on home. Plug the RTGs back in and then just take one trailer and a drill. Or one trailer and the drill, I should say. And come over to this one and dig downward. I can crack this planet and start planning the next one. Yeah. I don't think it was actually this direction. I don't think this is the one I need to go to at all. We'll find out. Nope, was not. Was it this one? I mean, there's ultimately only six options, so provided I'm paying attention, there's a maximum of five drops I need to do. Okay, good, it was this one. And now head back home. Eat. Space Arizona at night is terrible. Almost as bad as Arizona at night. Big horny. Hmm. 
Hard one to confirm. Oh, uh, what? Uh, which is worse, regular Arizona or space Arizona? Yeah. Big horns are oftentimes for recreational purposes. They're uh, quite fun to play with. Now I saw some graphite back here ish. Went right past some graphites, so I can dig that up real quick. Build a packager and box up that big horn to bring home. Oh, but there's an abandoned base. And another big horn! I've hit the horny jackpot here. Need graphite, though. If I was still looking for science materials and such, this place would be great. We'll take the explosives, though. Let's pull the big horny. Let's avoid red jerk plant. Avoid giant hole. There we are. Almost zip zap zopped right past it. Drop you there. Yeah, it looks like graphite. And I'm digging a hole, diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. Dark? What went dark? Ah, dort was the sound of graphite. Good to know. Now back to space truck. Oh god, oh god, everything's awful. Oh, whoa, that was... And that's why the hoverboard rocks, ladies and gentlemen. Because that was me just hop skipping and jumping over a huge hole while getting fired at by some dickhead plant. Phenomenal. There we go. Now let's head back home. Or continue to head back home. There's two explosives. I don't have any storage, though. Damn. No, you've got explosives at home. You're an American, after all. That is the sound of the drill struggle bussing. At home is sad and fake meme, yeah. The explosives we have at home. It's just sparklers. I mean, not that white kids from the 90s haven't proven that sparklers are extremely dangerous as is anyway. Where am I going? Where is this going? Oh my. Yup. Yup, that was a... That was a nice topple into a great big hole in the ground. Awesome. Now to do my favorite thing in the world. Dig up.
Oh, come on. Seriously, how are those trees not violent? If your trees look like eight, they were designed by H.R. Geiger, or designed by somebody who, who was making trees but only had parts from spiders to do it with, like, that should have, that, sh that, that should attack me, but those trees are perfectly passive. And that's, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the, the weird part of this planet. That is why I hate Space Arizona almost as much as normal Arizona. The plants that look like they're okay will wreck you. The plants that look horrifying are normal and okay. And they're slow and may get violent if you linger. Nope, they are just regular trees. They are what this planet calls trees. Because this place is awful. Everything about this place is shit. Just another version of Australia. Ah. Uh, a little bit. Disconnect. Just come over here to uh, toss these horns. Throw up the horns like you're at a metal concert. Plug this. RTGs I'm not using into the base. Then I can drop off the explosives, go back to the nearest which I believe is this one? I think it's this one. Oh wait, no, I need quartz. I need quartz to make homing to make uh, beacons. I do not have quartz to make beacons. Mm. That shredder's not gonna be big enough for most of this stuff. Yeah, not even close. I think I, in fact, shredded everything that could fit in there. Don't have a dirt spinner either. I don't need the oxygenator. That came with the shelter standard. Come on. Ugly equals safe, pretty equals dead. I mean... Ugly things in Australia will kill you, though, too. Okay, do I have to unpack you to feed you into that? Yes, I did. There goes some rare, me rare materials. Still trying to get everything arranged in my computer area so that it is optimal for streaming. Kind of trying to get the camera positioned where it can read me better. I also forgot to shave, so that might be part of the tracking problems, but... Beacon. Quartz. 
Eh, if nothing else, out of spite. I, f I do feel like pretty much everything in Australia that wants to kill you is out of spite. I built a lot of RTGs. Hmm. That was me coughing. Astroneer is a fun game. Because there's no combat involved, even the survival mode, while you do have to survive, which can be difficult, it still feels a lot easier, feels a lot better than games where there's a survival mode and combat like Minecraft, where you're constantly having to build up, or you're building up to a certain point where you've got decent armor and weapons. This, there's no armor, there's no weapons, there's nothing to fight. You just gotta keep an eye on plants that wanna screw you over and good old-fashioned gravity that wants to make you its bitch. Why am I high-centered? What am I high-centered on? How is that freaking possible? I'm hovering. I'm high centered on nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. I'm stuck on nothing. Okay, well then, fine. Let's do this another way. Right past a farting plant. That could have been bad. Which actually, what I should be doing is I've got an alignment tool. Guarantees I'm digging directly down. There we go, much smoother. Getting there. Definitely getting there. Digging back up will be fun. 
I have a feeling that's going to be the bench. Yes, an anchor. That's orange, needs to be red. Actually, let me pull that up real quick because I need to be on, I need to pick a side. Or is this not an anchor? Oh no, now it's showing me that there's one, one that I missed and it's that way. All right. Oh. Fun. I host myself a bit. Unless, nope, nope, that was an anchor. Okay. Here is a core anchor. Which means here I can drop a bacon's. Change you to red. And I can turn that off. I don't really need to know where I'm going because I know where I'm going. Yep, hatch is open, so I am fine with going this direction. Of course, I need to get back up to the surface after I find out what material I need, but that's future me's problem. And what do I need for this planet? Looks like chaos star surrounded by little dots. Okay, Astropedia. Chaos star surrounded by dots. I will just fly to my main base and grab that. Explodium! Cool. Cracking this planet with explosive powder. That is kind of neat. Not going to lie. Unfortunately, I now have to get... Uh, I have to get back to the surface. Futs. I believe it was, yep, this one. And I'm on the right path, good. So now it's a matter of digging up. The exact opposite function that I just did. Actually, while I'm here, is there any astronium? 
So if there's any astronium nearby, I can just trade that for explosive powder. There's a cache of explo of astronium. I'm gonna get closer to the edge. Pretty sure I can hold two astronium without an issue. Which I'm pretty sure will be able to get me four or the three exploding powder I need. I really, really pretty much just need one, but I always like to get all three keys. Oh, but getting to this. Especially with the way gravity twigs here and me being right over a chasm. Okay. And you know what? Let's actually save some effort here because I know that... The anchors at the top and the bottom of the sphere are actually, they go directly to one of the uh, polar cores. I'm not going to be near where my base is, but I'm going to be near a teleporter. Also, falling forward this long is, is kind of funny. And I mean, if I die, I know where to go, but... Okay, that's still the most annoying part of playing Astroneer. Is that it doesn't... It doesn't recognize that you have... Multiple screens. So it will let you click out of the game. Which is super frustrating. Just keep digging, just keep digging. Let's turn this around and zigzag this. All I need to do is get this astronium back to base, and then I can teleport back. Now if I keep going the way I'm going, I'm going to show up probably within a hundred meters or so of one of the polar caps. Polar cap uh, sites, relics, artifacts, whatever you want to call them. Teleporters.
I mean, it'll at least be very easy to spot from wherever the hell I pull up. I just have to make sure to avoid any hostile plants like that fart plant I see in the distance. But am I coming up near any? Nope, and I'm immediately digging back into a wall. Nope, I am exposed. Is that... Wow, these are some odd formations. The amount of effort they put into this place, like, into this game. Like, the rock formations are not at all the same as they are on other planets. Sylvie has at its core a uh, big honking, like, mushroom forest, or near its core, which other planets don't have. Which also includes researchable mushrooms. Chased off by a fart planet, or a fart plant, and then get shot at by a grenade plant. Neither of which I even saw. I should be able to cut across here. Come on, jets. Up, up. Up the ziggurat. There we go. Yeah. That at least gets me some more altitude. To be able to dig this direction. Gotta go easy on the hydrazine thruster. I don't have a whole lot of fuel left for it. And I am kind of far away from anything that can produce hydrazine. This is fun. This is fine. It's fine. Let's just go back this way. God, I'm so glad this isn't in VR. Oh yeah, I'm real close to the polar station. The polar port. The polar port. Ah, damn. This is freaking beautiful. For a huge gut dang hole in the ground, at least. Come on, up. Up, up. Still pissed I got my freaking tractor high centered on literally nothing. Though I'm glad Raffi wasn't here to see that. Really glad Raffi wasn't here to see that. What it caught a fluffy, you dumb. No nah, man, it's not my fault. An invisible particle stuck me. It's one of those weird features of this game.
Okay, popped up next to a grenade plant and a dagger root. Cool. Got shot by the grenade plant, but didn't die. And they are usually not clustered together, which is good. Plus, I'm not ha I'm, I'm not planning on spending a lot of time on this planet, building a base to gather resources. I have access to all the resources I need on bases other places. I could say it with no context or meaning if that would make you feel better. I mean, that kind of feels like half the time I get ripped on, ripped into by Raffi anyway. So, yes. Fuck Arizona. Oh, there's a fart plant. Cool. Let's go back this way. Yeah, I can hear one over on the other side of the wall. Not the national parks, but the rest of it. Yeah, you know, the, the national parks are pretty cool. I mean, if the if this planet looked like the national parks, cool. But no, this looks like the, the racist part. Which is, you know, where people live. There's a cave wall, which is way more desirable to try and dig through than a pillar. So if I need to go diagonal or sideways or for an extended time, I can. There are a lot of jerkbag plants in the area. Oh yeah, we're just right there. Alright, cool. Good thing you can't shoot through a rock, dicko. Yeah. That being said... As awkward as some of the conversations at the end of this, uh, uh, end of the last stream were, or as, you know, kind of hard as they were, teaching, teaching Rafi about the systemic racism of America was both important and kind of refreshing to see somebody who just doesn't take it for granted that this is a thing that exists. But also doesn't openly deny it. Which is why these conversations need to happen still. I mean, said the white guy, of course, but... Oh, a whole lot of dagger written nearby, but nothing within stabity distance, so that's good. Yeah, but that's indoctrination, comrade. Yes, yes, that is, uh... Unfortunately, critical race theory is, is, uh... Indoctrination. It's indoctrination into actually recognizing... Your society is not as good as it is, or as good as you think it is. Oh, 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 fuck you. I don't know what got me. But I got got, and now...
The fact that CRT is a legal theory doesn't actually change it, dude. It doesn't change the fact that it needs to be taught. Now, does it? I hate Space Arizona. Now I gotta sprint back over to the truck to have an oxygen supply to go rescue my... lost goods. Don't fall into the hole. Good. Are you learning it in elementary school? Yeah, no, I'm not really going to get into a conversation about indoctrination and its very specific technical terminologies here. It's not, not something I have the capacity for or honestly the interest. It was a joke. Oh, that's a huge fucking hole. Fucking Space Arizona. Really looking forward to the art stream Thursday. It's like I don't I don't feel like I want to be on camera right now, but I do want to have something up for reactions. Especially since uh, Astroneer is for some weird reason eating like 75% of my GPU. It's eating 75% of a 3070. How the fuck are you doing that, Astroneer? Put everything to medium. There we go. S Honestly looks the same. It's still Space Arizona. Had no appreciable impact. There we go, only eating half of my video card. Actually, a total of half my video card's being eaten. Astroneer dropped to, like, 26%. Fucking rock grenade launcher plants. One of the few things that can get you while you're driving a truck. Let's start digging down here. So it looks like my body is a ways down.
Yeah, I'm using invec encoding. Which is why nothing else is coming at you. OBS, with everything I'm having it do, is taking 13% of my GPU. Which is actually kind of high for it normally. Let's pull back. I am on a cliff face. sound when I died of a dagger root stabbing me, but I didn't see one. Should have brought up work light. I am so used to having so used to having better light. I stuck on. Cool. Space truck stuck on a rock again. I'm going off the side, I'm doing it in the truck where I take less fall damage. Come on. Come on! Let the hell go! Oh, now it's the trailer. No, god damn it. I somehow survived, but now I have to get to my body right quick or I will suffocate. Because I can't get to my truck in time, that's for certain. That was fucking close. That's close enough. That's good enough. Oh, 
Okay. Oh. A bot. Gross. Why do I have to tell you more when it's a bot? Account suspended already. Heh, nice. Uh, still temp tempted by a 3080. I'll be honest, with the fact that I'm doing graphic design, 3D work, all that stuff now, if I find a 3090 or 3080 at a good price, which, ha ha ha, yeah, right. If only I knew how to, like, hide this fucking comment. Yeah, let me do it this way, hop into my own stream. I am a shit mod, because I got no idea how to use the mod tools. Come on, let me get into my channel. Pause my own video. Oh, but it's not gonna... It's not gonna give me the chat. I am not being shot at in-game, that was, uh... Seeds dying. I got him blocked, got him reported. Oh, there it is. Ban. Okay. I don't know how to use the fucking mod tools. I'm not used to actually, you know, raiding for bots. surface. Don't think about the fact that you'll be abandoning your truck here to rust, because you're just not coming, coming back to this stuff anyway. Just need to get this astronium. Well, okay. You need to get somewhere safe so you can actually, like, adjust your backpack so it's not giving you conniptions when every time you look at it. And also... Eh, scan that. Why not? 74 points that I don't need because I've got all of the things opened. A 37 TI for 1100. I am so glad I was able to grab the 3070 I did off of Newegg before they started pulling some extra sus bullshit. Oh, hey! Howdy, space truck. Bye, space truck. I'm not coming back for you. I am a first world uh, planetary explorer now. I can go ahead and just leave a whole space truck to die in, ru die in rusting condition. Just to rust to death. Just to, to turn into that Ford 1 F-150. Ford F-150, not Ford 1 F-150. June, darling, welcome in, welcome in. I said darling. Ah, yeah. Welcome in, June, how are you? Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, space truck. Because you got me to 
more useful and expensive technologies. I love the fact that I had no doubt that I was actually reading your slightly difficult screen name correctly by the fact that you dropped a doppel uh, emote, so I knew it was absolutely you. I would honestly be very impressed by the bot that can drop doppel emotes. It says a bot that's subbed. Although, I mean, that would up probably, in fact, be my fault because, um, you know, I, statistically, I would have been the one to give it a sub. Uh, doing good, prepping for work, seeing how you play Astroneer. Uh, normally better than this. Not gonna lie, darling. Not gonna lie. There we go. Robot knows its fucking place. But, uh... I got my truck high-centered on invisible dust, and then just jumped out and burrowed straight to the core of the earth. Uh, which one was my... which... which one was my... Is that, I believe, is where I'm at, I think. Is that home base? I've been enjoying Astroneer, though. Uh, we've cracked a couple planets. We are working on this one. Yep, that was home base. Excellent. Hop on my space bike, or space board. Happy to look for PC hardware, give a coworker like a dozen laptops that would let him do 3D rendering. Nice. But oh yeah, uh, as I was saying, I, I got a lucky deal before they were doing something super sus. What's on fire? Trade platform, why are you on fire? I'm not asking questions. Oh, you give dynamite directly, you don't give explodium. Alright, well, that was a pain. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go back home, grab some explodium, and come back. It's not the blue flames, so it's taking damage. Well, screw it. I don't even need this base, really. Eat. Ah, scratching eye. Yes, hello, hello. Glad to have you in, darling. Yeah, uh, the the deal I got was one of those bundles they had just started doing, so it wasn't too bad. I just know that I need. I just know that I may have a motherboard that is a backup motherboard because it's not as good as the one I've got in here now. That might catch fire. Which, not being certain if it catches fire, is honestly not bad for, uh, not bad for a new egg bundle right now. Uh, 200 M2 drive in the shuffle. You know, that's pretty good. That's, that's really good. <sighs> Back home. Sweet home, Sylvia. I still have my corporate sim my uh, corporate job simulator. It's extremely accurate to working where I am. I hear you, Blitz. I hear you yelling at me for stuff. Understand, I do not care. My cat is getting salty with me because I have not fed him uh, three times or four times today like I, I have been doing somewhat recently because he was getting smaller cans of food. I gave him one large can, which he wolfed up immediately. Do I have Astronium here? I 
don't think I have astronium in... Well, there's my explodium. Ceramics, clay, glass, rubber. Nope, I don't seem to have explo I don't seem to have astronium and I've got a spare can, so guess what? Okay. That's fine. I'll I'll let that happen. Had a fire extinguisher for a couple of days because I swapped power supplies. Ooh. Yeah, swapping power supplies is a little nerve-wracking. Oh, those are still on the ship. That's okay. I, I can go ahead and leave those horns there for now. One, two, three. Don't give a fuck. Three... You know what? I don't need you either. So I'm literally just going to go fly right back. Find that hole I dug. Fall down it. Probably not die. Maybe not die. Oh, wait. Um, let's see here. Yeah, no. Stilgar from Kalador. Yeah. Okay, so... Nope, not you. Munitions. Vansea. That's the next place I gotta go, and then there's uh, something vertical thinking, was it? Yeah, activate some flight data recorder there for something, but yeah, all my, all my Shelly boys are here. Uh... Got a half with Sid. Watch too much tech tube. Uh, yeah, she probably would. I mean, you, you do watch Tech Jesus and Linus. That's that's honestly, even if you don't watch anything else, those two are pretty much almost too much tech t tech tube. Uh, the tie required uh, more power than when you first built the uh, the PC. I was lucky. I was given a I went from six fifty to eight fifty. Yeah. And Jay and Paul and Bitwit. Yeah, too much. Mutant grenade plant seed. Let's go ahead and actually get you guys planted. Because Stilgar is a picky boy and wants him some mutant grenade plant. So we'll grow him some mutant grenade plant. And then... Mm, do I have... You know what? Yeah, I can... This is not where they should go, but... For now... Eh, horns. Okay. Yep. Three explodiums. Got all my tools. The order is different. Hate the fact that the order is different. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I remember the 3072. TI, the, the 3070 TIE, as being a bit underwhelming. Oh, pardon me. Oh, my goodness, it's almost as though I didn't sleep well last night. Or, like, ever. Artox, Kalidor. Kalidor. 
Space Australia. Or space at. Arizona. Australia. Jeez. General restoration, you wouldn't have too much, uh, but if you use tensor cores for ray tracing uh, or invec, yeah, or DLSS. Yeah, what Tony, uh, or what, uh, what that guy says, what Avalon says. The fuck did I say that? Did I just... Yep. I mean, you do. I've called you like a million different things. But, yeah, sorry. Mm, run back. Should have just printed a buggy real quick. Oh yeah, because I'm gonna die falling. No, I'm gonna die suffocating. I'm definitely gonna die suffocating. Oh, no. I lived! Hooray! Why are you putting... Jet goes where jet can be used. Jeez. Ah, <laughs> yeah. That was fun. What I should actually be doing now that I think about it is just boring a second hole. So I don't have to risk fall damage as much. Oh, I don't have to risk the getting stabbed by dick plants. Honestly, the jetpacks, the hydrazine, hydrazine thruster has survived, has saved my ass so many times. Normally, I would try and dig down with a truck, but I here on this one I got it high centered on invisible dirt, and that really frustrated me. And I just said, fuck it, I'll dig down, teleport back. Or dig down, dig back, which... You caught the dig back part. Now it's dig back down, and then I'll teleport, because I've got the explodium I need to... make it. Hey, there's my beacon. 
Hello, gorgeous. I'll fall running forward. Whoop. Oh, oh. And of course, my mouse went off screen again. Damn it. No, no, no. Thank you. Land. Yeah, I. Like I said, the, the Hydrazine Thruster has saved my butt so many times. I have gladly come back for one. Especially in this heckery where you're all like, Oh, I moved two feet to the left. Guess I'm falling forward. Oh, two feet to the right. Now I'm falling diagonal. Hooray. Now I'm falling up. Get in backpack. Get. Backpack is not full. Backpack is full of lies. That's a backpack is full of. Wee. And crack the planet. Yes. Finally. Took an hour to activate everything, which was not bad. Not bad at all. But then this last... What the hell time frame are we on? I moved, I ended up clicking out and moving OBS. Oh, last hour. Was, uh... Sit still, OBS. Thank you. Was, uh, jump. Jump, thank you. Actually, it's not really necessary to jump, I suppose. There's the dim node. Let's go back to base. Hello, cat. How are you doing? Still salty with me because I'm not feeding him too much. I'm not overfeeding the boy. Such a shame. Such a terrible person. Alright, so that's another planet down. I'll probably call it here in a bit. Let's get back to base, though. I think... Yeah, let's get back home. I think Vanessa's the next planet I gotta hit. <sighs> Combination of jetpacks and the, the hover... Hover... Board. I was about to say hover slab, which is technically accurate. Has has been a good combination to keep me alive. Mostly going over short gaps, uh, jumping over plants that were going to kill me, and uh, of course, like, big holes in the ground. It's a little wasteful overall. But I've got the I've got the thrusty juice for it, so back home safe and sound after having died a couple of times on that godless rock. Oh, still germinating. You're still germinating. You're taking forever. Eh. Thing is, I believe Vanessa is a planet I've landed on before. Calador Vanessa. Yeah, I'm not sure. This is what it's like to have multiple rockets. Hmm. 
No, I've been to Nova. Nova. Pretty sure I've not been to, Van to Vanessa. Then, then whatever the planet is. Vanessa. I'm calling it Vanessa. Mm. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of deep holes. Oh no, I've been there. Because there was a marker over there. That was a marker, wasn't it? Yeah, it's some sort of marker there. Well, let's land here and walk over to that marker, see what it do. Oh, that might be the quest thingy I have to break open. Yep, I have not been here. Okay. Well. Regular plant. You aren't a regular plant. Fuck you. Oh. Don't need my hole digger. Come on. Face smacking plants. Weird tongue plants. Not a big fan of this place. Yeah, that's a quest marker. A ah! Galaxy, darling! Thank you for joining. And thank you for. Oh, cozy! Ah! I'm being raided. Oh no, it's a cozy raid. You are a raider. Legendary. And of course, my raid system's a little slow, but. Hello! Hello, Galaxy! Welcome in, welcome, welcome to the fluff pile, and welcome in, Cozy Darling! How are you? How are you doing? And... let's see... Um, let's go, let's go to Pokemon Summary! Let's just look at everyone's... look at everyone's... I don't recall stuff. you being green. Look at everyone's... peepees! Y'all, we're inspecting everyone's pee pee's! Uh. Also, the counter is stuck. Well, I think Bubble needs uh, one of those uh, cross 10 ones. Cozy Cat Girl, pee pee inspector. Did some Kingdom Hearts grinding. That's good. I have not actually played Kingdom Hearts. I feel like I'm missing something by having not played, but at the same time, I I think I would. <laughs> the chat, yeah, my chat rules are pretty straightforward. Um, I really don't see the need in complicated setup so far, uh, especially since everybody that's been timed out or banned has either been a bot or Raphaelzio, so hand trackings off a bit because those are these are fingers are not connecting meh but no nope Avalon I have not played Kingdom Hearts I know uh, I don't it, it's mostly console series and I don't the consoles as far as how I'm doing uh, cozy I'm doing fine thank you again for the for the fan arts for being my first fan arts I I absolutely love it I'm gonna in fact let me move this here. I'm not, I'm not doing anything that's gonna be a problem. Display capture. That exact display, yes, perfect. That, that beautiful piece. That is amazing. Thank you so much. I, I, I do adore it. As you can see, it is my background. It's my background on all three monitors and my phone, actually. But this is the thing, my watch. This is this is the thing she drew, and I drew she drew it, and I, I love it. 
Uh, she is my first fan arts. Uh, I, I am still so touched by it that I'm, you know, blathering about it here. Despite having thanked you in person and thanked... I think I, I think I said that Comfy should thank you for it. I mentioned that you had done it, but I'm sure he knew also. And, and been talking about it frequently on stream. This is just... I love it. Would it be okay if I, like, incorporated it into my OBS somewhere? Because it is still your, I, your artwork. I don't want to use it in a way that you're uncomfortable with. But I, I think thought that would be neat but yo this is this is the cool stuff she she makes i'm going to eat that screen though to be back here ha i am i have returned stop sticking to things obs just just do what i want you to do. why don't you just obs why you gotta be why you gotta be that way Thank you so much, Cozy. I will I will find a way to work it into every single stream. A little bit more seamlessly than look at this thing Cozy made me! I love it! Yes! Hand tracking! Terrible! Yes! <laughs> I'm glad that you uh I am glad that you are enjoying Kingdom Hearts. I've heard it's a good franchise. I've just I've never never done the the thing. Um I'm catching back up on chat after having stepped away to figure out how to do the thing of Moet. It, uh, I, it, I imagine it would get silly with, um, Donald and Goofy as casters, I think it is. I'm pretty sure Donald's a caster. I'm not sure about Goofy. And yes, Galaxy, uh, again, welcome in. Uh, me draw good, me pink, draw pink tuber. That is cool. That is cool. I uh, Thursday, I'm going to be setting up a, a, a ping setup with my using my model to as a backup for days like this when I really don't feel like being on camera. But I obviously am. Um, my initial plan was because of my lore, because of the fact that I am a a Yagwai, a monster, essentially. I was going to generate, uh, have somebody make ping files of my true form. And that way I could just say my glamour malfunctioned, but that's gonna require finding an artist that wants to work on making some sort of hideous rat monster, but yet still kind of make it cute. Or at least have a bow in its hair, because it has to have a it has to have a bow in its hair. I have a bow in my hair right now. It's a requirement. But I respect people who can draw pings. I'm cheating. I'm going to be going into Vroid and using the pose thing to, to do poses very carefully. And then cut, throw it in Karita, throw closed eyes over it, and do it that way. I respect the hell out of people who can draw because I cannot not at all yeah the hand tracking I've currently got my my hand tracker on the table in front of me uh technically flat but not really mostly because I don't like wearing it on my neck it's very uncomfortable for me but I have a folding uh a fold out mount well okay I've got a bunch of fold out mounts a bunch of uh Swing arm mounts holding it, basically everything. Uh, but I'm gonna add one more that'll just hold the hold the thing right in front of me, so that I have it projecting from chest, which is the best tracking really overall. But it's not on me, annoying the crap out of me. Caster duck sounds like an old PI name. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. The thing I ripped off from Comfy. If any of you darling raiders will feel like answering those questions, don't hesitate to do so. You do not have to whatsoever. There is no requirement, no obligation. It is an option, though, and it's something, it's something I saw Comfy do at first, and I thought it was really kind of cool. 
and I kind of wanted to do that myself. I did change some of the questions a bit. Uh, oh, botheration. Counter stuck over here too, of course. Go away. Uh, you are he, him? Pleasure to meet you. Good, sir. Uh... You know what? I'm not gonna fuck with uh, futz with this place. Yeah, I do. I do apologize. I uh, try not to swear on stream, but I, I, I am bad at not. Well, really? Never trust a plant. I did not know you liked making cosplays, Cozy. That's actually pretty cool. Or really cool. And, uh, bacon chocolate made you happy today. Bacon chocolate would make anybody, well, almost anybody happy. And then, galaxy. Something that made you happy. Cozy did. Got you through a rough day. Grandma was admitted to the hospital. Ooh, I'm so sorry. But she's doing better now. That's good. I'm sorry about your grandmother, though. Hope she, hope she recovers well. He feels old. Avalon, you're about the same age I do. I am. You, same age I do. <laughs> Damn it. Well, at least I didn't die very far. I just don't have a jet to get there, so I have to walk around and... Screw you, plant. I know better. I don't know about these things, so I'm just gonna avoid them. That was just the perfect one-two punch of... Dickery plants. Hate plants. Plants are evil. They cannot be trusted. No, I want this. Wasn't done. I need these. Need that, that, and that. Thank you. Now I'm done with my corpse. I will tell you when I'm done with my corpse. I have a reason to be there, sir. Um, must ask, uh, what do you call you by nickname Fluffy Yagawai? I generally go with, I mean, whatever works for you, but most folk call me Fluffy. Uh, I gotta do some off computer stuff, uh, say hi to Comfy now that he's home from work. Uh, be lurking, but have a lovely stream, Fluffy. Thank you so much. Say hi to him for me, too. He, uh, raided me yesterday and got me the people I needed to get to affiliate status. I put it up to a vote for my community, though, because, I mean, I know I'm kind of... I know I make that quality second screen material. I want to leave it up to them if they want to pay for uh, subscription to avoid the uh, ads, or if they already have premium. I'm never going to force something like that on people. They, It is up to the community to decide... Yeah, everybody calls me Fluffy because when I when I pop into somebody's channel or raid in with somebody, um, they tend to go, "Oh, Fluffy, yeah, 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 Fluffy Yao guy. I'm gonna call you Fluffy. So Fluffy is perfect. Still trying to be affiliated, uh, but you stream from a PS4, so it's rough for me. Well, let me... give me one moment, darling. Let me check your... Pull up your info so that I can follow you so I can watch your streams. Follow. There we go. I will check out your streams if I am able, without question. You do know how to say Yao Guai. The fact that you separated it into two tells me you are a Fallout player. Which, I mean, 
I am not going to knock somebody who, who knows how to say, who learned something from a foreign language from a video game. That's, as an American, that's how I learned like 90% of them, my stuff. Okay, screw that planet though. Not dealing with it right now. Hate that planet. That planet's a jerk. Fallout's a good franchise. I'm not gonna knock Fallout one bit. Drop these rocks off. I was actually... You am, Can am Canadian. Okay, good to know. A lot of Canadian VTubers out there. I mean, an impressive number considering Canada is a myth, but like, actually quite a few of my favorite VTubers are Canadian. Quilby, Girl DM. Hopefully you. I shall find out. Uh, four and 76 on your PS4. Fallout 4 was, I think, People had a hard time comparing it because they always wanted to compare it to New Vegas, which, of course, it's really hard to beat New Vegas, but it was really... 4 was really good and put a lot of material out, put a lot of uh, advances to their ancient, terrible engine. They really need to move on from their, from their engine, update it. It is true with Canadian people are a myth. Uh, yeah, I had heard that Canada was a myth, uh, to promote, uh, cute VTubers, um, maple syrup, and the concept of how li of longer life expectancies. Like, that was, that was the reason why they secretly created Canada. You're in high school right now and it going well. That's good. Uh, I do want to say... Uh, this is, as it's marked mature, it is an 18 plus stream, so if you're under 18, I cannot know, or Twitch will require me to boot you. But you can be in high school and be 18. So, we call it good at that. But I'm glad that school is going well for you, too. Don't always have mic on. Don't always have something to say, interesting to say. I mean, it, it can be tough sometimes. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've been I've started doing art streams and and uh, I just did a a, hand, a live stream of building models so people saw my actual hands. And I kind of ran out of things to say. Like I don't always have stuff to say, but it's not super necessary. It's good to be entertaining, good to keep flow going and such, but sometimes you just there's nothing that needs to be said. And that's fine. Uh, when you do stream with your friends, you have your mic on. That's cool. Well, I look forward to hearing your voice. I do. This is me sort of just playing with my thumbnail with my other thumbnail. It looks like I'm... I don't know what this hand motion looks like. But I found one thing that does help if I feel like the silence is a bit too heavy is um, I've started keeping a notebook on me and then just anytime something vaguely interesting comes up, uh, I put a note down about it. Um, the other day I was playing vinyl because I'm a vinyl record collector. Well, collector. I not, don't have any specific games. I just like to hear albums on vinyl. And, you know, that's something I can talk to. I'm bit, I know a good bit about it, so I put that down in my book. There was also soup, specifically canned soup, which led to an interesting discussion in a couple... Actually, that was like a month ago. Uh, you have two or three viewers a stream, but you do it because you want to make streaming and YouTube your future job. Need money, so I'm getting a better paying job. Yeah, it... Gonna be honest being a streamer especially a game streamer is a very extremely hard way to get into a get into the streaming industry in general but like the market I, I'm never gonna say don't do it 
do it 100%. I would be lying if I didn't say that this would be what I would want to do myself for a living. I just know that I have a well-paying job, so it would take like 1,700 um, subs or the equivalent therein a month to replace the hourly rate I make at my day job. So that's probably just not going to happen for me. But you gotta be, you gotta be very com, gotta be very willing to put out, like, get creative with your content, like comfy, um, even co, uh, yeah, mostly comfy though, uh, puts out those those TikToks and the uh, clips and shorts on YouTube, putting content out there, putting his name out there. That's actually how I found out about him, was I was looking around at VTubers on the wiki, on the VTuber wiki, and I saw a comfy catboy list. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute. Might might well look might look into him might look into him, but because I had clicked on that, the FBI agent watching me, uh, put him into my YouTube rota, and I found one of his clips where he was doing the Pokemon Minecraft thing, and that was cute. It was funny. I have no interest in Pokemon Minecraft myself, but it was cool watching him do it. And I really liked his personality. He's very positive, very upbeat. Something I <laughs> don't see a lot these days, honestly. But uh, it led me to when I got my when I set up a Twitch account. It led me to look him up almost immediately. And I've absolutely adored Comfy and Cozy since. They are great, great streamers. You could do a lot, a lot worse for for role models for streaming than those two. Plus, as a couple, they're just precious. Yeah, Comfy and Cozy are also extremely supportive. They they are passionate about this. They're passionate about being VTubers themselves, and they like it when they see people do it. And, and that's really cool. You found them that cheered, them up, cheered you up during a dark time. That's good. That's good. Been following for eight months, one week, and one day. You've been following them for longer than I have, admittedly. But I'm, I'm glad that you found VTuber company that you could keep. I'm glad that you found found friends and found people who are supportive of you, and I'm glad that it helped. That's probably one of the biggest reasons why I stream is that a I can help people feel better, and and b. I've made a lot of friends doing this. His first mercy reveal. Oh. I have not seen that. That was, uh... That was before my time with him. Yes, cat, I hear you. I don't care, cat. You were fed. You just wolfed it all down. What was I going to do? Base. I need to build a base. Where's my printers? There's my printers. Yeah, honestly, VTubing... Those aren't my printers. Those are my generators. These are my printers. VTubing is... is the way I, I do things because it was a lot... It's a lot easier to put myself out there if there's a if there's something between me and the the camera um because I've got really bad anxiety problems myself oh his first uh, merch reveal oh okay that makes more sense I'm like mercy the, is that a game was he doing overwatch his first merch reveal yeah Honestly, if you have the mo probably the most important thing, and I mean I'm a newbie myself, so take my words for what it what they mean, you know, uh, with a grain of salt. But to my mind, the most important thing you could have is passion for it, because it is an uphill battle for VTubers in general. Uh, we're a less oversaturated part of streaming, but streaming is a very oversaturated market. And 
it's difficult to put yourself to kind of get recognized to be seen to build up a community to then move on to doing this as a professional thing a very small number of a very small percentage of per, percentage of a percentage really of video game streamers actually make a living off of it and if you don't have the passion for it if you don't have the drive if this isn't what you want to do then you will burn out quickly and that's just kind of the way it is it's it's really hard to get into the industry on any meaningful level on any making a living or even making decent like side money level just because it's there's so many people doing it it's better with it's better with vtubers because we're still kind of small but we're also thanks to the exposure that some of the bigger names uh have gotten us vtubering it's becoming more popular but it's not becoming as populated if that if you know what i mean But it's still some of, something that, and one of the things I struggle with is content. Like, making good content from your streams and in addition to your streams. So that you're not just putting yourself out there on a stream and that's it. When you're live, your channel is completely, or when you're offline, your channel is completely dead. You're not being searched at all. You're not coming up in any metrics. And when you're live, you're competing with anybody else doing the same category you are. Which is gonna be hard. Uh, you have a 3D model now, but you want to improve it. I've been slowly improving this one myself. It's... I'm not artistically inclined. I don't have a background in drafting, drawing, art type stuffs. So, building, making a model or making any sort of art for my work, like emotes or, or ping, tubing ping, it's basically outside of what I can do, but I work on bit by bit improving what I have and building the skills. And that seems to be working for me, but I mean, I also am not... I'm not certain, but I'm enjoying it. And the reason why I went into VTubing is because I wanted to give my um, really bad anxiety problem, my it's a disorder, uh, the middle finger, and say, hey, I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to meet people. I'm going to ban robots. I'm going to be get sworn at and called slurs. That's what I want to do, because I want to play video games with friends. Because I'm going to be playing video games anyway. I'd be playing at... Well, okay, if it weren't for Drowsy Doppel, I would not be playing Astroneer. But I'd be playing something. Because I love video games. And... What? What? That... What the hell? What? what? Hand tracking. Why the horror show? Oof. Goodness. But I, I would be playing games anyway. So being here, getting to talk with friends, getting to talk with great people like you while playing, it's better than playing alone and, and yelling at my cat when he's saying he hasn't been fed. When he's been fed, he, he knows he's been fed. He knows he's been fed. Don't believe the cat. Don't believe it. Cat lie. Nope. Avalon, don't believe him. You have met Blitz. You know he's manipulative. You know he lies. <laughs> you are a great person, so I like talking to you. And I am glad that you... I am glad that I got to meet you, Galaxy. I appreciate that you say I'm nice. I can't personally just say that myself about myself i've always said anybody who sa says they're a nice guy isn't just like how anybody who says i'm not racist but is 
but people say I'm nice, and I take your word for it. I just try to be less of a prick day by day. I'm glad your cat is chill. Mine's very loving, but he's he's very... He's been getting, like, the small cans of food because couldn't find the big ones at the store. And he normally gets, like, a big one and a small one. So I've been feeding him more often recently. And he got into that f getting fed multiple times. Or multiple more times. So now he's thinking he, he can bother me for food. Even though he had an entire great big old can of food and a small can. So he's had all that he should have today. I am going to have to ask you how that is pronounced on stream sometime, darling. I ought to admit, I'm not... I'm not sure how to do that. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I do apologize. But it is, great to, it is great having met you, though. And this is exactly why I stream, is to meet great people like you. And... Like June. June is fun. I knew Avalon before. He's he stuck with me. He's a he's an IRL friend, so he's fucked. He's stuck with me. But it's just accents into galaxy. Oh, like launching Scottish people into space. Two silicone, two plastic. Making a galaxy. Ah gotcha, gotcha. Or was I zooming off to? I need plastic, I need silicon. That's glass. This is plastic. That's silicones. Get a little bit of the building going, but I am gonna... It's coming up on time I normally would drop out. Putting accents on the... into galaxy. Like launching Scottish people into space. I guess that Scottish people have accents. Like, I never claimed it was a good joke. Just that it might be considered one under legal pretenses. Perhaps. I'm not good at good jokes. Why you no know print? You have powers. You were facing the wrong direction because I'm good like that. <laughs> you do dad jokes, although, uh, being a small bit Scottish, also Welsh. Well, I do apologize if that went in a direction that it shouldn't have, but, uh, And Dutch. I am uh, a lot of things myself. As an American, I pretty much only claim that I am, like, I can really only realistically claim that I am part uh, Freedom Eagle and part 9mm. That's about all I can confirm myself. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I appreciate that. What else would I need? Got the shelter going. I can pull spare RTGs from the other base. Mm, storage silo. Which means... I need resins. I need some corn cobs. I also need to check my corn cob harvester because I'm low on local corn cobs. Uh, also British. That's cool. You have a very varied bloodline, don't you? That's neat. 
platforms, storage silo. Oh, botheration. Thinking of medium storage, not storage silo. Titanium. I mean, I have that still, but that means I gotta put my corn cobs away. Pretty sure I just threw that one at the sky. Yep, it's behind the couch cushions. Where's my corn cob har harvester? It's over in the fields. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday, yeah. I mean... Unless you are far enough, oh, far enough backwards in time from some of us, then... Well, I can't wait to hear your lovely voice and hear your wonderful accent. Ah, uh, titanium. It is 13 minutes away from Tuesday for you. You are... you would be on the East Coast then. That's cool. I'm over in, on the west coast in Tacoma. Which I, do, I am not afraid of saying because uh, people already outed me on that, so it's like, you know, why hide it? Yes, cat, I hear you. I don't care. You will starve. You will starve. I'm sorry, cat. Such a shame. Rip Blitzkrieg. That was tungsten, not titanium. Well, yeah, absolutely get sleep if you need to, without question. Uh, please do not be the person who stays up all night and then has to go to the dentist and... Or, you know, go do things like the dentist and school and such with absolutely no sleep. Even being young, it's less than ideal. Stay. There. Did I really? Uh, okay, fine. You know what? Doesn't matter. Stop picking up the canisters. Controls on this are slightly annoying. Blitz, you scared me. I know that was your plan. Because maybe if you scare me, you get food. Joke's on you. You don't. Oh, in June, you've got a dentist appointment Friday. Oof. Good luck, both of you, honestly. I should see a dentist. Dental maintenance is really one of those super important things. Oh, that's right, I was gonna harp. I needed my, my harpoon, which dropped. Because I was going to... This was inefficient. I have not played this game in a while. And you can tell. Well, a while, I say. It's been like a week or two. So these huge boxes are, are too heavy to carry on your own. You know, lift box, drop it. Lift, lift box, drop it. That's the only way, really, to do it. But you can carry the winch because it's a winch is a size medium object. So it just fits in your hand. So you just 
grab or harpoon the object and then carry the harpoon and that <laughs> that drags whatever you can't normally carry. It's very convenient that way. Uh, yeah, the physics engine cut on this game is very sort of uh, bouncy and spongy. It does love just throwing stuff everywhere, which is fun. It's amusing. It's more amusing than it is annoying, thankfully. Moon Moon is full of lies. It's not food she wants. It's treats. Yeah, Moon Moon does love her some snackos. I mean, who doesn't, ultimately, but... The controls on Switch are worse. I The controls on Switch for a lot of things are worse. I like the Switch, don't get me wrong, but... Ugh. You got a crown started, it's what you get for drinking soda or two every day. Yeah. I love amusing funky game engines so long as they work. I don't know why I have a dagger root over here like that. That's dangerous. I could at least stick it over further up where it's not gonna... I mean, I don't know why I'm growing dagger root there, to be honest, at all, but... Human Fall Flat. I have not heard of that one, actually, darling. Hmm. Yeah, I... So long as a game controls well, I'm usually not bothered by whatever the... whatever weirdness the engine chooses to do. That's right, I need to put my corn cob canister back up. Drive by. Enjoy the enjoy the tooth maintenance. I was gonna say enjoy the the tooth brushing, but that didn't sound weird enough. So and to uh, Disable output. Fill with corn cobs. Saw a video about it on uh, weirdest shortcuts in a game video. Oh, so the switch controls for Astroneer, you've got to like hold a button combo to grab something. That sounds frustrating. You know what? Let's blow up the shuttle. That's a small shuttle. I don't need it. I was hoping to get more uh, exoship boxes, but I've also got plenty of dynamite, so it's not really... I mean, got plenty of exoships for that matter, so it's not really an issue. Now I got to explode something. Controls are like trying to play Elden Ring on PC without a controller. Oh my goodness. That... Oof. That sounds like torture. Yeah, I've got a decent amount of exochips. I don't think I'm... I'm, I'm uh... Words? 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 Where go words? Where go words? I don't think I'm going to run out of. There we go. Exochips anytime soon. Words are hard, a wise one woman once said. Oh, goodness. Dropped it behind the couch again. I'll probably be on this game between sessions. Uh, welcome back, darling. Welcome back. I'll probably be on this game between sessions doing some 
maintenance and uh, administration. There's always, like, building, getting a base up and running, even if it's just to show up and drop off a, a truck, a space truck, to crack a planet. It's still a, an involved thing getting all of the, the stuff necessary together. Take that. Organic material I haven't put up because I filled my organics canister. And I don't want to make another one. Even though I probably should. Single crown shouldn't be too bad since last time is four at the same time. Oof. Darling, take care of yourself, please. Please. If not for me, then do it for Doppel. Because, I mean... Yeah. I'll actually do it for yourself. Self-maintenance is the most important to yourself, but still, take care of yourself. My favorite Pokemon, if I have one, would be the first starter I ever used, which is Bulbasaur. Chunky Herb Doggo is best. I have a soft spot for Eevee because it kind of reminds me of my cat, especially some of the plushes that look really dumb. Like, really, there's nothing behind the eyes on some of the models and plushes. It reminds me exactly of my cat. Um, I'm actually going to be getting the new generation, the next game that's coming out, because the, the grass-type starter is basically my cat in green. So I'm absolutely going to do it. Head is now hurting because you hit... Oof. Why, you, why, why did you fight a wall? Why fight wall, darling? Why? I don't recommend fighting walls with head. Use hammer. Hammer good. Plus then you can say, stop. Hammer time. That's a reference probably older than most people in chat right now. Now that I think about it. Take RTGs from... Kalidor... <laughs> Wall said you smell. Well, I wouldn't recommend arguing with walls in general. MC Hammer can't touch this. Ayo, perfect. <sighs> Might be the only one that gets it from first party reference. Possibly. Possibly alter. But never underestimate the, the power of the internet to expose uh, young people to old memes. And that's ultimately what MC Hammer was, was a giant meme. His gangster albums are so aren't bad though, and that's that's the frustrating part. Well, okay, they're bad. But like his competency on it is a lot better. The only thing breathing bankruptcy mean. Yep. Do I need anything else from my large print? You know what? Let's just start thinking about this. Actually, I know I don't need anything because I've got like two large spaces on that thing. So it won't be able to fit anything. Uh, Irish guy walked out of a bar. Did he? I'm quite impressed. Actually, you know what I think? Tractor. <laughs> that 
hates it. That's the joke. <laughs> Fair enough. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, you know, I think I will give the truck over on uh, Kalidor New Life by just repackaging it. Package it, throw it on there, and then that gives me a shelter, a truck, truck components. You know what? That might actually be all I need. So let me take you, put you here. You are graphite, so you will output eight graphite, and I'll make eight packagers. That's truck, trailer, trailer, uh, drill, RTG, RTG. Yeah, because if I have a place to land and a place to, to just set up, I don't need any materials. I just need to crack planets. I will find my space truck on Kalidor and rescue it. It will not have sacri been sacrificed. We will get him back. My thumb's not doing that. It's There we go. We will get him back. Uh, wife said I should do lunges to stay in shape. That'd be a big step forward. Oh, fantastic. Oh, goodness me. So let's go to... Boop, boop, boop. Packager. Drop the graphite. Turn on repeat and just let you go. Wow, those build fast. All right. Hey, <laughs> you're listening to the wife. Hey, come on now, Av Avalon, darling. Um, we both know you listen to your wife. She could beat you up. How do you follow Will Smith in the snow? Follow the fresh friends. <laughs> oh. No, nope. not packaging it. Putting packagers on it. There we go. Wait, hydrazine. Do I have a spare can to throw on there? I don't think I have any high. Ah, there. Okay. Just to make sure I've got a decent amount of fuel. I never want to run out. Get off my lawn, kid. <laughs> I mean, Fresh Prince is good. And yes, I must accept the fact that it is an old show. But that also means accepting that I'm 37. Working very closely on 38. That hurts my soul. This is the face of existential dread. It's a lot cuter than you thought it would be. Come on, where's my base? There's base. Bonk. Yes, I am uh, very open about the fact that I am older than most of the people on Twitch. Uh, whenever I say I'm an old man 
in somebody's streams. They're like, oh, really? You wait, can't wait to hear how old you think old man is. I'm like, I'm 37. Uh, well, okay then. Like, they don't argue it. They can't argue it. I mean, it's not that old necessarily. It's a bit of a joke, but it's still, like... Several people I watch are young enough to be my children. Praise the great maker, they are not my children. Is truck over here? Is truck here? Nope, truck is... Truck is over at the pole, isn't it? means driving, oh, flying around like this is going to be dangerous. Hmm. Can't bring the whole thing with me then. But. Four should be enough. Yeah, high school was... High school was, was a couple decades. Or technically, I can say it was 18 years, because I did graduate late because they told me about running START, the program to do college credits while in high school, literally my graduating quarter, and I, I just didn't take a specific social uh, class. Because, seriously? You tell me I'd be great at that program, and it'd be a really good fit. Basically when it's too late. Nah, man. Nah. Yeah, college can be really good. And college can be... Absolutely awful. It's not over here. Is it over here? It was. It was. Huzzah. Now to get there without getting killed. I'm glad I did not load myself up with debt just to say that I got a degree. Like, it would have been nice to get a degree and be able to use it in you know, in, in furthering myself, but I have a good job without needing a degree because I managed to actually find a place uh, that isn't total shit. Not total. But... A lot more stressful than it needs to be because the company's being run by idiots. At least as far as American college goes especially, it is a whole lot of pressure to get the college degree and get a job that's going to be super high paying, except the degree doesn't get you the job, so you're really just loading yourself up with debt. Okay, Truculees, let's do this. You are a stout, powerful tractor, like your Ukrainian brethren. Just pretend you're heading towards a missile tank that is out of gas. Act casual and drive away like it was yours and there's no problem. Don't get stuck on things. Come on. 
Australia is absolutely a myth. It's just to sell you on upside down writing and uh, the concept that nature will absolutely kill the crap out of you. Come on. Oh, God. Stuck. Really? Up, up, up the ziggurat. You got this. I believe in you, space truck. I believe in you. Dig as vertical as you can. Come on. We're almost out. I can smell the Arizona. It smells like meth and exploitation of minorities. New Zealand uh, exists to use Australia as a cover-up. Yeah. Come on. I found a mountain, didn't I? Close. Freedom! How the fuck do I get home? Space truck, you're really good at this. Come on. Through. Wind through these cactars. Don't anger them. They can attack. And again, I know I've said it several times, but these trees are perfectly passive, but they look like they will wreck you. Look at that freaking thing. Horrifying. I hate Space Arizona. You can trust the trees that look like they're going to destroy you, but can't trust the... basically anything else. Uh, time to fall into more holes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And on the wheels. Yes. Good. Good. Come on. Let's get back to base so that I can shrink wrap you. Nope. Not falling for your bullshit grenade plant. Going around you. I don't know what those things are, but they are obviously lethal because they're red. Anything red and glowing is gonna wreck you. Not today, other grenade plant. I mean, seriously, the trees around here look like you may... If you were to try and have an engineer who has only read up on the uh, background background concept of trees, if you told one to make a, a tree, but you only gave them parts of spiders to do it with, that's what you get with these things. And you sort of HR Geiger designed a tree, except less vaginally. And the fact that they breathe and move... Oh. Ran over whatever it was, but it looks like it's one of the ones that doesn't attack you when you're in a car. Good. Yeah. They... Oh! That was well hidden. Good work, Space Arizona. Honestly, I'm impressed. I am impressed. You got me that time. Fuck you, Space Arizona. This is what I mean by, uh, I try not to swear. But I do a bad job at it. I guess I have to deal with Space Arizona. The worst thing to ever exist next to normal Arizona. I 
You know what, we're gonna stop and use those explosives on whatever they are at right now, just because... Plant... This is completely meaningless. I could actually salvage that stuff a lot easier. Is that a bundle of explosives there? Yes, good. Flange, detonate. Just want to wreck some stuff. I'll be back in a minute fixing your blankets on your bed. Excellent. Enjoy blanketing. Screw you, Space Arizona, and your shrapnel. Giving you a really bad Yelp review. One of those ones that says I'd give it zero stars if I could at the very beginning, and then goes on like a three paragraph rant. Three paragraph rant about how you're treated badly. Huh. Back at base. Which means. I can start boxing you the heck up. Ooh, my! Physics! Oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 come back here, come back here, come back here. Ooh. <laughs> uh. One out of five space plants tried or plants tried to kill me in space Arizona. Would not recommend. Indeed. That's where I put it. Okay. Because I knew I put it down somewhere. Backpack errors in this game are hilarious. Okay. Another RTG. Yeah, you know me. These plants literally have spines on them, but are perfectly harmless. Did I have another... Oh, I never unpatched the paver. Well, I will take the paver with me. I will need the small trumpet horn. Must have small trumpet horn. I'll never be able to build the horniest base, like Doppel. I really don't have the patience to find all of the horns, but... I can at least collect what I find. Six blankets are now set. Excellent! You should be comfy. You have every right to be comfy. I mean, as in the concept, not the catboy. Please do not kill him and wear his skin. I do not advise that. I'm glad you have a good, comfortable setup where you're at. Basement is a very good option, provided it does not flood. I s had a basement room for ages. I 
don't have space for the landing pad. Landing pad would be useful, but not required. Of course you wouldn't kill Comfy, because I asked you nicely not to. Can you redeem the plot to put the flower on him? The flower crown does look good on him, to be fair. That is a good use of, time, of uh, a redeem. Packagers require... What do packagers take? I just made them. Why am I not looking in the 3D printer? That's right here. Comfy cute boy. Comfy very cute boy. Or do I not have a small printer here? That'd be freaking weird, wouldn't it? There you are. You were packed. Well, I'll take you with me anyway, but first... Packagers take graphite. Okay. I don't have scrap. Fuck it. Got a good amount of stuff. Cat Munchkin is just staring at you once you're out of your room. Or once out of your room. We will land on the other planet, set a few things up, and then next time we will start collecting our snail and cracking Vanessa. Artox, DeSolo, Silva, Vanessa. Let's find a landing spot near that uh, quest site. That mission objective, if possible. So that one, which is where we landed last time, but that was a bit perilous. Should be coming up on it again. Where the heck? It was right along this path here. There it is. Uh, screw it. Guess we're doing it. Alright, landing at the same place. At least we know the terrain a bit. Okay. I need to I need to have brought some platforms with me. I can build platforms, that's fine. Yeah, my bio says old Taku because I've I, I I'm old and otaku. Depression gaming is yeah. Honestly, depression gaming is quite a bit of what I do. I spent pretty much the entirety of today playing House Flipper. to be corn cobs. How did I only end up with one? I thought I had two there.
Now I have to. Yeah, House Flipper is a very, very relaxing game. I'm not a fan of the mowing because I feel like, you know, having a lawnmower would have been nice, but... Otherwise, it's pretty good. It's good. Yeah, I have power washing sim too, I, I think. Or no, what I need to do is, uh, printer, medium printer to compound. Okay, because what I can do is I can grab a trailer and a trailer is a medium platform with wheels to it. So it's a medium platform with extra steps. So if I just get find two compound, I can make a medium printer and from there make large printers. Or make large uh, platforms. I don't trust you. You... Yeah, you can fuck right off. Okay, you were just organic, but I still don't trust you. Never trust a plant. Here's some delicious dipping Dots. Good friend uh, lives in Boston. His dad is a cancer researcher. That's, well, that's really cool. There you are. The other half of that freaking combo I hit. Yeah, die. Okay. Get the medium printer printed, and then I think I will call it. Get it set up. Oh, well, get a, uh, since I have the space, get a large platform built. Where's the other? Are you the tra- you are the other trailer, so drop you down, and then grab a RTG to power the printer, make one platform. Yes, large platform B. Nice house, nice area, very cool guy. Well, that's cool. Oh. Burrow under your blankets and relax for a minute. Good call. I am about to do that myself. It's been three and a half hours. It's been a pretty decent long length stream, especially since I was streaming for seven yesterday. Didn't even realize it. Let that spin. Eh, you know what? Let's save and find someone to raid. Step into base. Save and quit. Are you sure? Yes, let's get to chatting. Hmm, who doesn't love to relax? Exactly, darling. Exactly. Man, only 20s. Only 20 today. Those are some rookie numbers. But, uh, it's still a good day, though. Let's see here. I did want to thank, uh, Connie Ambershard for, uh, becoming follower number 54 today. Uh, followed me before stream. And I do, of course, want to thank Galaxy the Cat, 
Darling Galaxy for becoming follower 55, and Cozy Cat Girl, who's just fantastic. Uh, in case you couldn't tell, I, I really love Cozy and Comfy. If y'all aren't following Cozy and Comfy, do it. Cozy Cat Girl, Comfy Cat Boy. They're great. They're fantastic. Uh, the counter is for the number of times I say darling. Another thing I'm going to work on Thursday on the art stream is get a better, uh, I mean, I poked it, but you can't see me, see what I touched. Better image for the darling counter. Because that was just a quick grab, just something I had on hand already. But thank you all for showing up. Thank you, of course, to, uh, Kohime Nakamura, to Jejun2244, June, uh, to, uh, Avalon2040, Alter, JV, it if you aren't following Alter, go check out Alter JV. Also, they're going to be streaming again. Uh, they've been kind of having a rough time of things, them and Drowsy Doppel. Go follow Drowsy Doppel. She is the best. Such a good laugh. Really, really not hard to fluster. Gets bullied by chat, but, I mean, who doesn't? Thank you everybody for showing up again. Uh, Thursday six is going. Thursday at six is going to be an art stream where I will use the tools in Vroid Studio to do some PNGs as a backup for when I'm doing live uh, streams, like Sunday, where I had to use the camera for my hands, and this could not exist in both forms because I have one fucking camera. Uh, I am glad that you. I am glad that you stopped by. I am. I appreciate that you think I'm cool, especially as somebody in their late thirties. Having somebody who is very much not say you're cool means the world. It's often a lie, but it means the world. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing that. Going to be updating the darling counter and might set up if I have some extra time. Um, a template for making emotes because that'll be probably something I'm gonna have to do soon and something I want to work on anyway just general art stuff it's gonna be an art stream relaxed chilled same music because I don't change playlists much honestly I, I like stream beats <sighs> thank you all for showing up this has been a fantastic stream. It's been great to get back into Astroneer, despite the fact that it got super frustrating falling down holes and dying repeatedly, as it tends to be. And let's find somebody to raid. I thought I had words. I thought I had a brain there, but I did not. I ran out of brain. Uh, let's see here. Tsukiko is on. Yeah. Tsukiko, uh, speaking of art, she is doing arts right now. Tsukiko uh, VT is... <laughs> Face itching. Is a, a another VTuber. She is a cat... Or, no, a fox. A fox? Oh, I'm a dick. She is a fox VTuber. She's very chill. She's very cute. And does a lot of art. She's a, a graphic artist, among other things. Um, but she's fun to watch, and her community is pretty nice. I am kind of glad Raphael Zio isn't here to inflict him on, on her community. Oh, and thanks to Raphael Zio, of course, for showing up. And that bot. That was nice. It's always nice when the bots show up. But I will get the raid going here, slash raid... T-S-U-K-I-K-O underscore V-T. Whoop. Oh, it does have a sub-only chat. Shoot. No, we'll hold off on that then. Mm. Oh, Enya looks like she just started. Did Enya just start? Or... Unsure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Enya just started. She's playing uh, Minute. Enya is a ping tuber. She is an absolute bean. 
She is uh, really a sweetie. She's playing a game that I don't recognize minute, but be fun. Uh, but yeah, she is a fairy, uh, bean fairy specifically. Is that okay? That's on her screen. Okay, there was like a little slash there, and I'm like, is my screen messed up? No, no, that's that's the font. Okay. Uh, but Anya Fairy is really sweet. She is uh, also does graphic art work. Uh, let's see here. Slash raid in what A F A A E R I E. Bloop. There we go. And then. There is our raid message. Feel free to add any reasonable emotes that you wish to yeet into the message. I'm gonna just do it raw. Probably gonna go to sleep at one. Yeah, no, sleep, consume rest. Rest is good. As always though, thank you so much for showing up. I'll see some of y'all on Thursday if you feel like it. If not, I understand, uh, but it'll be fun. It'll be art until then. As always, my darlings, be the monster that you needed as a child, love without hesitation, and fight for peace. Goodbye!